girls come out so hard at you, and uh, how did you game plan that? Yeah, I expected them to come out hard because when you, he, he had an opportunity on this card just like I did, so he wanted to turn his career around. This was the opportunity too, but this is an undefeated fighter, so I expected him to come out hard. Um, the fight should have been stopped in the seventh when his corner threw the towel in, but he refused to stop, so I guess that's the first time I've ever seen it, but I tip my hat to him. He was tough. He was tough as hell. And what do you feel like is next for you? Uh, I want to fight another good fighter, uh, somebody that's been active lately, as of lately, in the last couple months that's undefeated. And so I want to make a, I want to make a stamp. Great. Our next question is coming from Boxing Social. Stand by. Need some water? You good? Go ahead. Name is here from Boxing Social in association with Betfred. How are you doing, Quentin? Are you okay? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good, good to hear. So, uh, coming into the fight, did you expect um, what you saw from your opponent tonight? You didn't watch a lot of footage, so did you expect to have the challenge poses, or did you expect the easy night that you had tonight, really? No, nah, I mean, I knew I was a better boxer than him. It was just I had to stick to the game plan. And uh, I got off of it a few times. I wasn't going to the body enough early. When I started going to it late, it worked. Cause I put him down in the six and the seven from body shots. And I just, if I just stuck to that game plan in rounds one, two, and three, he wouldn't have went the whole fight. Uh, but I guess I gave myself a B minus performance. I still got better. I, I'm better than that, and I got more to show. So, but I expect him to be tough. Uh, so uh, I mean, my expectations were met from what he brought. Are those the lessons then that you've taken from the fight, like going to the body more? Mm -hmm. uh, but, but it does sound like you've been a bit critical on yourself as well, considering the scorecards. Yeah, because I know what I can do and I know what we worked on. Um, so there was moments where I, I was doing real good and there was moments where I, I get off the game plan and I go back to it. I never stayed on it consistently, like I, my coach was telling me to, like I know I should have, but uh, some more stuff was to work on. I am, I'm still getting better and better. Each fight I get better and better. So the next fight you're going to see a better performance, and so we're going to go from there. Yeah, there were a couple of moments where the fight could have been stopped. Did you feel it would have been fair uh, for the fight to have been stopped? In the seven, yeah, when he turned his back on me completely and his corner through the towel in, then I thought that was it. Uh, but he refused to stop, so I mean, I don't know what to say about that one. Like I said, I've never seen that one before. Quinn, and I was reading, like, um, you know, you had a change of mindset a number of years back, uh, given your story. Uh, you, you, you had them train the mindset, you said that you wanted to make your son proud. Do nights like this, winning on the biggest platform in your career to date, make you look back at that moment, where you've come from, and feel like a sense of accomplishment? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, everything I do is for my son. I keep them on my trunks, my vest, no matter the t-shirt, no matter where I go, he's with me 24-7. So, there's always, I know he's looking down at me, so there's always a good feeling to represent him. Uh, rather, I, I hate to put him on a, some trunk, I'd rather him beside me, but that's another discussion for another topic, but uh, I mean, uh, I just, yeah, I love doing it, man. I just, I, I wish he was here with me, but, you know. You're at the stage now, you know, in the welterweight division, you're 30. Are you looking to push on? What level of fight are you looking for next? I'm most definitely looking to push on. I'm looking to take on better opposition next. Somebody that has an O on their record, and I want to be the first one to get an O, so. Uh, like I said, I've got some things to work on in the gym. I'm going to get better and better. Uh, one thing about me, I, I train hard, and I'm, I'm disciplined, and I'm dedicated to the sport, so it's all going to pay off. And do you have a message for your fans who watched the fight, saw the fight, and you know weren't here tonight because of uh, the pandemic? Man, I want to thank every last one of y'all for supporting me, watching me, sharing my story, being uh, just motivating me every day, and I appreciate you. Stick along for the ride, and I won't let you down. All the best, Quentin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is Jeremy York. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Quentin, on the win. Thank you. Uh, it seemed like uh, as, as the fight kind of warmed up and as you kind of got warmed up with things, you seemed to uh, like the body shots a lot more. It seemed to uh, really put you ahead. Is that something that, that you'd like to put in your regular game, or was that just for this uh, opponent specifically? No, I love going to the My last fight, I went to the body a lot. I had an aggressive opponent and I had to go to his body to slow him down. The game plan was to go to his body much earlier than I did. I was supposed to go to his body out from the first round. I didn't go to it nearly as enough as I was supposed to. But when I started to target it, 
it showed it, it, it was effective because he went down from the six and the seven on body shots. But I, I love going to the body. Uh, I need to go to it more. I'm, I don't go to it enough as I should, but we, I'm gonna change that. Uh, obviously, you know, a lot of people have said what's next for you and, and things like that. Um, have you uh, put any thoughts maybe being on another thriller card? Uh, most definitely. Uh, they like what they saw and they want to have me back. I most definitely want to be on another. And then my last question, and I'll uh, pass it off to somebody else. Uh, what goes into uh, your attire? You seem to uh, really like to have a tire that pops and really gets attention. Is, uh, is that just your personality coming out or uh, is that just something fun you like to do? Uh, this is my son all day. This was, this was his football colors, this was his colors. And so, like I said, I bring it with me every fight I go to. Or uh, if it's anything that's on my heart and I want to just express with any, any uh, social justice issues, I'm gonna put it on my trunk. So it just, whatever the, I feel like whatever the world needs to see at the time. Thanks, Wayne. Thank you. Great, thank you and congratulations. That's all right. Okay. All right, thank you.